Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the SU 12244, it's a tier 7 Soviet premium tank destroyer. It's located on the north spawn of mines, and this one is under the command of Don't Eat Yellow Snow, and that's very good advice for anyone. Yes, the yellow snow is not good for you. Anyway, let's see how he gets on in this one. Well, the SU 12244 would have been designed and based on the uh, uh, T 44 tank. They started development work in 1944 and based it on the T 44 chassis. And it was ready by December of 1944, but the SU 100M2 was preferred. Um, it's known as Stalin's Hammer because it's got a high DPM, very well angled armor right at the front. 122 millimeter caliber which is capable of doing 390 alpha 175 millimeters of pen and with the premium rounds it's 217 millimeters of pen now yes he was going to take a round in the side there because there was nothing much he could do turreted tank was able to get a shot into him and he lost uh, 249 but just look at the damage and he rams and kills the amx elc with just a slight ram after hitting him with one 22 millimeter round very effective now it can bounce rounds that hit it just as well and there is an enemy tank across there type 64 no rt in this game so he doesn't have to worry about a shell suddenly arriving and hitting him on the rear but this is one of the most underestimated tank destroyers in the game i think more than more than most because it is a premium and although it's 122 millimeter people think ah oh, well it hasn't got that much penetration oh but it has and you can see that look at that he's just put another round into a t-34 he took a round from a strip but he puts one into him too and he gets 372 a low roll now can he get the kill shot not yet no but that was 404 which is a high roll and the strip 74 actually goes down in the end to our t29 i think more than anything it's the angle of the armor at the front it's so well raked but it's actually quite thin overall it's only 90 millimeters thin but it's angled back at an incredible degree which actually means that the uh, strength of that armor is much much stronger than most think now if he's going to get shots on some of those enemy tanks he's going to have to poke his head around the corner and get it basically parallel to the target but he does that and he can pull back he's pumped one in that kv1 might have difficulty getting a pin in fact he does get around in because he's got the 85 millimeter gun and in fact now we're starting to take more shots but the kv1 goes down with the next round and the other kvs well they're having difficulty still and there's another one gone so three tanks gone in well fairly quick succession he pumps one into the side of the M445. Oh, he's really going for it. And that forces the, the enemy to pull back. Because he, he now has control of that entrance area. Nothing the enemy can do about that. So anyway, he's poking over here because he wants uh, more enemy meat for the grinder. And that's how he's doing this. He actually rolls up to a spot, auto aims on, and then just lets the gun drop and bang, off it goes. Uh, and that is one way of actually handling this rather than actually aiming manually you can also aim on and there you go he's got his kill type 64 poked his rear out got smacked okay he's lost sight of the enemy over there just tried one quick auto aim or auto fire in that direction but he'll aim this one and he does get a pen on that one a huge pen on the wolverine the 391 a high roll and the wolverine oh no not the wolverine the e8 went down he was spotting the e8 the wolverine is um still there not anymore he just died t3485 got him oh there's six tanks up on the enemy and four of those tanks belong to don't eat yellow snow he's having a fantastic game you can see why he's got all those marks on his of distinction on his vehicle. He really does play the uh, the <laughs> the devil out of this thing. I was going to say something else, but no, that might offend someone. But um, no, he really does know how to play it. 
And this tank destroyer is a lot of fun because it's got that big 122 millimeter caliber gun capable of just busting its way through the enemy and yielding huge amounts of damage in the process. He hasn't got any sight of the enemy at the moment. In fact, there's only five enemies left. They've got an AMX M445. He's up by the gates. Uh, they've got a Super Hellcat, which we don't know where. P43 Biz, who's... Oh, the Super Hellcat's over on the South Island. P43 Biz is just below us. Then we've got the M10 RBFM. He's just uh, behind that rock. And who's the other one? A Stug Clyde. There he is. And he takes a round as well. 352, low roll. But it's basically all that he's got because one more round and he's out. It does take a little while to dial in this thing. But once it has dialed in... Oh! Now that was bad. He pulled that one slightly. He'll get him with the next round. Yep. No problem with the next round. It was just a case of uh, putting it on target. Okay, M10. Gone. Just like that. That's the top gun. This is a hell of a game. Six kills. And they haven't even got through, well, just over five minutes. Coming up six minutes now. A kill a minute. I think anybody would be happy with that. Now he's coming around the corner to take on the enemy face to face. Yeah. <laughs> The AMX doesn't last very long. Yeah, the AMX M445's gone. Then the P43's gone. That is a Radley's. Who's next? No more. They're all gone. Well done. Don't Eat Yellow Snow. Wasn't that a great game by Don't Eat Yellow Snow in the SU-12244? It was an ace tanker game. He did so well. He got a hand of God for surviving the battle. Haven't received damage from at least four different enemy tanks. Fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. Bruise the metal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 15 in that one. As well as a duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged him. And a shell crew for blocking more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. He picked up a Radley Walters for getting at least eight kills. He ran out of enemy to shoot at. Uh, but yes, he was just blasting them away. Two tanks went down quickly, one after the other, with very fast reload. Yes, he managed to take out the NMX M M445 and the P43, who made the mistake of retreating directly in front of him, which gave him an easy, quick kill out of that last one. He got a Spartan medal for taking down or uh, surviving a ricochet or non-penetrating shot um, when he had less than 10% of his hit points left. And yes, that AMX M4, 5, M445 tried, but couldn't get him. And he also got a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game. And he got a top gun for getting at least six kills. What a game that was. Let's have a look at team score. 5,065 hit points of damage. The next highest scorer had left, well, around about half of that, actually. No, it is half of that. Let's, uh, let's look at it. It is half, less than half. The AMX M445 only got 2,522 hit points, whilst Don't Eat Yellow Snow got the, the majority of it. When it came to third place, that was the Super Hellcat on the enemy team. He got 1,990 hit points of damage. When it came to kills, yep, Don't Eat Yellow Snow got that one. Eight kills to him. The next highest was the T-29. He only had three kills and he didn't survive the battle. And uh, after that, two kills to the T-3485. He didn't survive the battle. And neither did any of the three enemy tanks who managed to get two kills. Their Super Hellcat, their P-43 Biz, the last one alive, and the M10 RBFM. And when it came to base XP, well, look at this again. He's got the top again. So top in all three columns. 1,833 is the only one to get over a 1,000 base in the game. The next highest scorer being the T29 with 834. Yes, that's less than half of the um, SU-12244. So, yes, he's done it yet again. He's monstered the whole game. The third highest was the Semivente Basotto. He managed to get 801 out of that. That was a really astonishing performance. 20 rounds fired. This thing only carries 35 rounds. So he actually went through half of his ammo, ammo, but he just kept going. 17 direct hits on the enemy, 17 penetrations. A few of his shots did go astray. Um, and you saw that one where he had difficulty with the Stug uh, and 
it, again, he just pulled the shell to the left. Of, no, to the right, actually, I think it was on that case. But the first shell he got, got in got most of the hit points. And it was the same with most of the others. He may have missed on one shot, but then he got them on the subsequent one and got the kill or his teammates did it for him. 5,065 hit points of damage, of which 408 were at more than 300 meters. So most of the damage was done at close range. He took out three tanks, I think it was, in succession with the uh, the ones at the gate. And the M445, after seeing his teammates getting wiped out, thought, I'm not having any of this. I'm pulling back quick. He got 10 hits received from the enemy, only four of which actually penetrated six non-penetrations and 860 hit points of damage blocked by armor. Three enemy vehicles spotted, 12 enemy vehicles damaged, eight killed, and 630 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium account, he earned 127,772 credits profit from that game. Yes, this is a money maker, this machine. And that was even after he paid for consumables as well at full price. And he got 15,675 experience points as well with a personal missions payout for 11,000. So this was a particularly valuable battle, but it just goes to show the SU-12244 should never be underestimated. It might not have the sort of pen that some of the other tier 8 with 122 millimeter guns can actually do. But oh boy, is it good fun when it per performs and behaves like this one. And the shells will just go streaming straight through the enemy. And it is lethal. So, uh, yes, if you've got one of these in your armory, do take it out every now and then. Give it a little bit of love. And you get these sort of results. So, incredible game. Don't eat yellow snow. Always good advice. And thank you for sending in the replay. If you enjoyed that, that video, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.